let's go from Junior Castle Coombe. So, going up the straight, uh, there was a yellow flag. And uh, the person, I was racing the person at front, and the guy in front of me just stopped just before the top hairpin. So, I stamped on the brakes, spun sideways, and the guy behind me came full speed and T-bowed me. And oh. I cracked a rib. And got whiplash from that. Probably the second one was at yeah. Swindon four years ago. Swindon casting. So what happened was, have you? So at Swindon, at the end on the old track layout, it was a big okay. straight and then a hairpin. And what happened was somebody half spun at front of me at the top corner. So I slowed down, and two people tried going up the inside of me at the same time. So I had two carts hit me square, side on, at the same time. And in that incident, I got whiplash and mm. concussion. was about that was a painful one that was so painful it was one of the few times where i've gone around going okay i'm not sure i can do this race and somehow i was second for ages and i thought okay i'm settling for second i don't want to do any more because it hurts like anything my neck was in agony and then with 10 laps ago i realized i was catching the leader and i thought oh, let's push my neck's not hurting as badly and then with three laps to go, I overtook and won the race. And at the end, I was very happy. As soon as I got out of the car, I felt so sick. I felt very ill, and I was in excruciating pain. And then I had to drive back from Swindon to Bristol, feeling sick and with my head spinning. <laughs> Not the smartest thing I've ever done. Still, no, for me, I think... Uh... <laughs> I uh, never had such a big crush. Um, maybe because I don't mess it up. No, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I would I like say... <clears throat> no, I never had any big crush. I had a, a big impact once. Uh, so, you know, in absolute part in, in the rump down. Mm -hmm. So there was a yellow flag. And I... Basically, I, mm -hmm. I used the brakes because of the danger. Yeah. And there was a driver behind me who didn't brake at all. And he bumped mm -hmm. into my rear. And my crack, my, my back and cracked a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't breathe for one second or so. But that was the maximum. I didn't have any injury afterwards or I didn't have any uh, pain yeah. the following morning or anything. So it was, it was good. Now, the biggest crash I've ever seen, I've not been involved with, but I've seen was at Castle Coombe where somebody flipped. This was back in junior. Somebody flipped their cart, landed head first against the tarmac, uh, walked back to the pit lane Ooh. with blood pouring down his helmet. Because what had happened is he, he had bitten through his tongue. Oh, God. Completely. So when people... Some, when some people concentrate, they have up. their tongue sticking out. But yeah, he bit and <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. That's the worst crash I've, I've seen. So I was sitting in the pit lane for the next race. And I was looking at the bottom. I was talking to the marshal. And Sully flips and I just pointed at front. And the marshal went, what? Because he landed upside down. So he couldn't see the cart. And I went, somebody's flipped. So he... It, as soon as he heard flip, he sprinted down to where I was pointing. And they red flagged the race, everything. Everything got stopped. I saw yeah. an accident very similar to the one you were describing before and without the blood. So this was, this was in a circuit in Madrid, in Spain. Mm -hmm. And so it's called Los Santos de la Mosa. Mm -hmm. So there were two drivers um, mm -hmm. fighting at the end of the straight, and one of them pushed the other one, and 
um, mm -hmm. outside of the corner. So this driver went onto the mountain and he flipped and there were some other drivers coming from behind. I think he was hit by any other or oh. any other car, but I I was coming from behind and I saw the guy okay. flipping and then Good. the following corner I could see the guy jumping jumping out of the car and rushing running towards the pit lane and then in the pit lane he fainted he fainted mm -hmm. and I think the ambulance came yeah. and I don't know what happened with him I think. He yeah, probably shot. He he was probably he was shocked. He was he had probably uh any any sprain or something, but he wasn't like he he wasn't like bleeding or or you know, he was he didn't have very bad injuries. And then in Daytona and if Jose is still there, uh he might remember this oh no, sorry, this wasn't in this edition. Mm -hmm. So in the six hour race in autumn, in, in fall um whether I should say in October last mm -hmm. year. Um there it was rain. It, you know, it was these kind of mixed conditions in the qualifying where it was dry sometimes and raining. And uh, so people were going flat out and and at some point it started to rain but very lightly. So people kept going flat out, but obviously the grip is much in it's much mm -hmm. worse, and there's no grip. In, and once the first drops uh, come on 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 the track, so mm -hmm. yeah, that was unlucky, especially for one Marshall who was hit by by a driver, and mm -hmm. he broke his his mm -hmm. uh, his ankle. Yeah, so... Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's quite interesting. Since I've started working as a marshal, uh, if it was possible, I would highly recommend it. But just for a day, work as a marshal, oh, and you will see how much attention you have to pay to the track, especially in certain parts, because it's just... You, lose your, you look away for a split second, and that's when everything happens. And you could have two incidents at once, and you have to try and say what happens to both of them. You're just like, yeah. uh, uh, uh. so. It would be interesting for it would be interesting for right, many driver, drivers <laughs> to to have the to to have the knowledge of the real dangers that marshals are exposed to, so they can slow down when they mm -hmm. are required to do so, and they can take it more safely uh, whenever there's an accident or any um, difficult condition on circuit just because of the safety of all.